Currently, there are no plans by the state for any more mass vaccination clinics, like the one last weekend that used the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Nor are there any plans to use the vaccine at any of the state's fixed sites. However, some regional health networks, such as Nashua, were planning to hold clinics using the Johnson & Johnson dose. The governor says those events will continue with a different vaccine. In a statement, he says, the state is already working with our partners to ensure that they have an alternative supply of Pfizer or Moderna to help continue their efforts today. The pause came about after six women who received the vaccine developed blood clots. However, the director of infection prevention at Wentworth Douglas Hospital says there's no reason to panic. The numbers are exceptionally low. In fact, um, I don't even know if there's any uh, science that would indicate that it's any different from the general population um, that has not received the vaccine. Nashua and other regional health care networks were planning to vaccinate homebound Granite Staters using the J&J &J vaccine. In Nashua's case, those efforts are now underway with alternative vaccines. The same thing is happening at Walmart. Under the federal pharmacy program, the store had planned to start administering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine today. Alternative vaccines will be provided, but they won't be available until after 1 p.m. The state says if your appointment is after 1 p.m., you should plan on attending. If your appointment was before that, you can still visit any of the state-managed sites and your appointment will be honored. Now, all told, the state has administered 37,000 of the Johnson & Johnson vaccines. If you received yours within the last three weeks, potential warning signs to be aware of include severe headaches, abdominal pain, leg pain, shortness of breath, again, any occurring within three weeks of getting the shot. If that happens, officials say you should contact your health care provider. Reporting live, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.